Hi everyone and welcome to this video as usual. So in front of me I've got a transformer. Um, I believe it's a power transformer, or that's what they're called. And this was very kindly given to me by uh, some new friends. Um, so, I don't know anything about this transformer and uh, really I've got to find out and do some tests and see where it leads. So to start with, if I have a quick look at this thing, um, I can tell that it's created using the EI um, manufacturing process. That's where they have plates in an E shape and plates in an I shape. And they sort of um, uh, join them together. So you get an E and then you put an I there and an E over it. Or sometimes they put loads of E plates in and then shove in the I pieces inside. And basically it makes a an iron, uh, I think it's called an iron core. You can see that it's created with little plates, laminated plates, and then they're bolted together. Anyway, um, so so I know that much. I know that this is obviously mains. Um, in the UK, brown and blue are accepted colours for mains voltage, so brown is always live and blue is always neutral. So I know that this is uh, intended for 220, 40, 50 volts AC. And of course, this whole transformer is AC because um, in order for current to flow on this side, uh, transformers need AC voltage because um, current needs to be flowing, sorry, voltage needs to be uh, changing in order for current to flow on the other side. So, and voltage of course. Um, so, I know that much. Um, so, so the question is really, um, well, there's a few questions. How much amperage flows through here? And what voltage and amperage flows through here? Well, to start with, this is obviously 230, 40 or 50 volts. And I can tell straight away that that's, um, you know, that's pretty standard, um, gauge uh, wire for 250 volts. So I, I can tell straight away that that's roughly 13 amp cable because I've seen it that many times. So if I say that's about 10 amps, so potentially um, potentially this could be 10 amps multiplied by two, 250, so that's potentially 2.2 or 2.5 kilowatts, potentially maximum. So, um, so okay, um, that could be reduced on this side, but we'll see. Now, on this side, I've got what are called taps. Um, so, I think it would be a good idea now to, um, to draw a diagram in order to try and explain this a bit better. Okay, I'm no expert with uh, transformers. In fact, I'm pretty new to it. But I believe the diagram is something like this. Um, So, I would assume that's 0 volts and that's 250 volts probably. Um, then I think there's that part of the uh, I don't know, diagram. So now, um, what's going on the other side? So, yeah, what's going on here? Exactly how many taps are there? And what are their voltages? And what are their amperages as well, actually? So... How many have I got to start with? One, two, three. So there's obviously something peculiar about that middle one. That that looks to me like that's the a center a center tap. So I probably find that 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 tap there is in the middle um, of these two. So um, I would imagine it's probably halfway, but we'll see. Um, we see he's here with a new testing. So, well, let's do some tests on this thing and, f and find out. So, to start with, I want to do what's called a continu continu uh, I can't say it. continuity test. So, continuity test. So, if I just change the mode to ohms, let's just make sure that we've got continuity here. So I would imagine this is low resistance, or it should be anyway. Yeah. Okay, 15 ohms. 
So that tells me that the uh, winding or the coil or whatever you want to call it inside there is fine. So we're okay there. Now, um, what am I going to do here? If I just zoom in a little bit. I think the first thing I'll do is test these three, these three uh, taps here. Okay, so with the multimeter still on um, resistance, let's see if we can get a clue of what's going on here. Just tip this on its side for a, a minute. Let's zoom in actually. Right. So this is what I think is going to happen. I think all of these will be low resistance, but we'll find out. Start with this one. 0 0.7 ohms. So they're pretty much, uh, well, it's pretty much a dead shot. So that's one single wire. So if I move that to here, it should be a little bit more resistant. Oh, broken. Oh no, okay, just bad contact. Um, 0 0.4 ohms. Hmm. The back here. That's 0 0.4. So, 0 0.3, that's better. So, they're all shorted together. So, all those wires are shorted together. So, um, yeah, that will be a centre tap. So, I'll just update the, uh, the diagram. Zoom out a little bit. So we appear to have something similar this way. And this will be zero volts. Um, now, I should have done that center really, but there's a, there's a tap there, so I don't know what voltage that is. I mean, the way you can work this out is by the number of turns inside the transformer, but I don't know how many turns are in it, so... Um, yeah, and we've got another tap as well. Let's just have a look at the other one. Let's find out what's going on here. If we check the resistance of this... I've noticed that this has got a really thin uh, join on it, though, so... Yeah, you should be able to see that the wire is very thin, so... Whatever that tap is for, I don't think it's for power or anything. Anyway, let's see the resistance of this. And the resistance is 2 ohms. So, they appear to be joined together too, so what is that? So, we have a rough idea what's going on, and now I've got to do something that's quite dangerous, really. Um, I've got to try and find out, you know, what voltage is coming out here of this output. So what I'm going to do here is uh, wire this up to the mains.